is a lovely day here in Galveston, Texas. Specifically, Galveston State Park area. Stayed the night there last night. Uh, camped out, and now we're about to do some fishing right now. It's about 7.42 a.m. I'm hoping we didn't miss the morning bite, but we're definitely gonna get out here and give it our best shot, so. Gonna see what we can do. Hopefully we can put some in the boat. Let's go. What's up? What'd you say? Uh, I'm not registering a depth right now, but yeah, we're probably in some pretty shallow water since that's the case. Yep, about two and a half feet of water. Guys, I'm gonna start off with this down south paddle tail, three and a half inch lure. Stop it so you can get a shot at it. On a chartreuse jig head, has a nice little chartreuse tail. This has got some gold fleck in it. Water's a little dark today, so I might need to go with a darker color, but I'm at least gonna see what this will do. Got this paired up with the, the Lose Speed Stick, the American Hero. I'm gonna see if we can get on some fish. Don't really see a whole lot of bait working at the moment. I'm just gonna try to work the edge of these grass lines and see if we can't get something to bite. You know, today we're gonna try to get on some specks or flounder or maybe some reds, just depending on what bites. But this is a very universal lure and any one of those species of fish will hit this. So let's give it a shot. All right guys, so I'm going with one of my favorite lures, favorite colors. It's the down south um, paddle tail, purple and chartreuse, silver underbelly. Uh, the fish that I have caught out here in Galveston have actually been on this lure. Um, if it hasn't been on live bait, um, this one has already been used but obviously the plastic is very durable, so I'm gonna throw this back on and hopefully I can catch something. Let's get the skunk off my back. Oh my God, this is terrible.
Guys, that was a nice trout that I just missed right there. He hit me right at the boat. At least I know they're out here and I know they're biting. Oh, damn. Thought I had one, guys. Got a little excited. Oh, I did have something. It's probably just holding on to the tail. Since it was just sitting on the bottom, it could have been a flounder. Let's get back over there. Alright, we're gonna go check on my boy Larry. He's over there. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. So rough morning so far. Just the fish, the, the fish that I missed at the boat, and then another one that picked it up while it was just sitting on the bottom and took off. Like we're going over a school of what I believe is bait. And it looks like underneath that bait are some fish feeding. I think these lines right here that we see, those could definitely be reds or flound, uh, reds or trout um, or some other predatory fish. So uh, I'm gonna turn around and make a couple casts. Then I'm gonna go check on my boy, Larry. Let's see what we can do. Some bait just ran into my line. I mean, there's bait all over the place, guys. There's one. Tons of head shakes, probably a trout. 
trout. A little, is that a sand trout? Oh, and he falls off at the boat. I think that was a pretty big sand trout, guys. Glad y'all got a look at him. Oh, we might be in a school of them. A school of sand trout is better than a than no school at all. So I'm gonna try to stake down and see if we can get a little action. Time to move around. No action after I step down. Ooh, I'm gonna try not to lose that. Thankfully it floats. All right, now we can go catch up with my boy Larry, assuming I don't see any more fish on a fish finder. y'all because i'm i'm such a rookie at this <laughs> y'all already know so don't judge me please uh but i did manage to just catch a nice little speckled trout and uh he just spit the hook and uh this guy might actually get away so let, let me show you let me show you let me show you what i'm working with so here we go guys he is a little bit bloody but um Definitely looks to be keeper size. I'm gonna measure them just to make sure um, before I get him on the stringer. And he might be in a catch, clean, and cook today, guys. So let's, let's see what we're working with. Let's just get enough. Let's get an official measurement. I think he's definitely 15 inches, but I'm on Rapala fish grips. There you go. I got him, I think. There he is, guys. There he is. Well over 15, guys. He's about 17 inches, 17 and, and a half inches. So definitely a good keeper, and he'll be going on a stringer and try my best to capture some of these uh, catches.